Hello everyone, today we're going to present to you Atterberg limit test for DCC 301 and 12 Geotechnical and Highway Engineering Laboratory. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Melvin Anamling and this is my team member. First, we got Eddie Ryan, anak Tommy. Second, we got Ahmad Sirajuddin bin Abdul Malik. And lastly, we got Muhammad Shameh Haikal bin Rumiano Kaswadi. Objective of Atterberg limit test is to determine the value of liquid limit plastic and plastic index of soil. The apparatus of Atterberg limit test is liquid limit device. Liquid limit device is used to determine the moisture content at which clay soils pass from a plastic to a liquid state. So today, I will continue about the apparatus and the function. Okay. Balance. The function is with 0 0.01 readability. And then, glass plate. The function of glass plate is used to roll out trade of soil. And then, spatula. The function of spatula is for mixing, forming, and smoothing soil specimen. And then, wash bottle. The function of wash bottle is to dispense mixing water. And the lastly is drying laboratory oven. The function of drying laboratory oven is for, moist, for moisture content test. Is sieve the soil by using the number 40 of sieve. The soil is mixed with small amount of distilled water until it appears as smooth as uniform paste. For moisture can is weight and recorded the specific weight. Place a portion of the previously mixed soil into the cup of liquid limit apparatus at the point where the cup rests at the base. Squeeze the soil down to eliminate a pocket, then spread it into the cup of dip about 10 mm of it, of it deepest point. Fully, cut a clean straight groove down to the center of the cup by using a grooving tool. Turn the crank of the apparatus at a rate of appropriately 2 drops per second and count the number of drops. Sample using spatula from edge to edge of the soil pad. The sample should include a soil on the both side of where the groove came into the contact. Place the soil into the moisture can cover it. Immediately, weigh the weight of moisture that containing the soil, record it the mass, remove the lid and place the can into the oven. Leave the measure can in the oven at least 16 hours. And lastly is record the tare or the dry weight. Is weight the remaining empty moisture can. Roll with your hand, then place the sample on the glass plate and apply pressure to the taper until it's reached to the diameter 3.2 mm. If the soil thread crumble before it can reach into 3 mm, so you should add more water and roll it again. If the thread is too wet, try rolling the sample in your hand to dry the sample can use the rod as your guide while rolling the sample on the glass plate. Then, when the diameter of the thread reach the correct diameter, break the thread into several pieces and knead and reform the pieces into elliposidal masses and re-roll them. Continue this alternative rolling, gathering together, kneading and re-rolling until the thread crumble under the pressure required for rolling and can no longer, can no longer roll into 3.2 mm diameter thread. After that, place this raw sample in moisture can to obtain the weight. Then, leave them in the oven for 16 hours to dry. Repeat all the steps. Then, remember to use the same balance for all the wagging. Okay, so next I will present about result data and graph. <coughs> 
Okay, there are four types of sample here, which is sample number one, two, three, and four. They are labeled as A, B, C, and D. Okay, so for the first sample, uh, the weight empty clean can plus lead in gram is 29.9, while the second sample is 31.1, and the third one, 29.8, and lastly, the for the last one is 29.8. <coughs> Okay, for the M2, which is weight of can, lead, and moist soil in gram, for the first one is 33.6, while the second one is 34.6, 33.7 for the third one, and 34.3 for the fourth one. Next, I will explain about a weight of can, lead, and dry soil. For the first sample, which is sample A, uh, it is 32.8 and 33.7 for sample number 2 and 32.6 for sample number 3 and 32.8 for sample number 4 for the weight of soil solids in gram uh, 3.7 for the first sample 3.5 for the second sample 3.9 for the third sample and 4.5 for the fourth sample okay for weight of water for the first one is 0 0.8 1.8 for the second one 1.1 for the third one and 1.5 for the fourth one water content in in the in all of the sample is 21.62 for the first one 41.43 for the second one 28.21 for the third one and 33.33 for the fourth one number of drop 60 for the first one 38 for the second one 30 for the third one and 20 for the fourth one Okay, so this is the graph. Uh, at the y, at the x axis is number of drops in Newton, and at the y axis is water content. For the twenty number of drop, it shows that it is thirty three point three three, and for the thirty, for the thirty drop is twenty eight point two one, and for the thirty eight drops, it shows fifty one point four three, and lastly for the sixty drops. 21.62 Alright, so this is the final data There are three types of samples uh, For the first one, the weight of empty clean can plus lead in gram is 26.7 For the second one is 29.7 and for the third one is 29.9 Okay, for the weight of can, lead and moss soil For the first one is 30 grams Second one is 30.7 and the last one is 31 Okay, for the weight of can, lead and dry soil, for the first one is 29.7, 30.5 for the second one and 30.8 for the third one. For weight of soil in solids, uh, for the first one is 3.3 grams and for the second one is 1 gram and for the third one is 1.1. Okay, for weight of water, for the first one is 0.3 and also 0.3 for the second one but for the third one is 0 0.2 for water content 9.09 percent for the first one 30 percent for the second one and 18.18 for the third one okay this is the plastic limit average uh, you have to plus all the water content and divide it by three and then you will get 19.09 percent okay that's all from us thank you very much